Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from selfmadesuccess.com and in this video, I'm going to quickly show you two of the best YouTube tools for growing a channel. These are also free, so you can get these two tools for free. You can get them as browser extensions. So if you use Google Chrome, you use Microsoft Edge. I use them for Google Chrome browser but um, you can get them both for free they will tell you all kinds of stuff about your YouTube channel about your competitors YouTube channels they'll help you grow your channel much faster so the first one I want to show you in this video is called vidIQ so first off you need to sign up for free at vidIQ.com you just go up here click the sign up button here or just put in your name email address and password click that you agree to the terms and then click sign up for free it takes like five minutes to go through the process and once you're signed up for vidIQ what you want to do is go to your browser extension store for whatever browser you tend to use right now it's probably going to be either Google Chrome Firefox or Microsoft Edge I'm gonna do this for Google Chrome that's just my preference um, they for sure will have both of these extensions that I mentioned on the Chrome store. So you go to the Chrome store, um, just type in in Google Chrome extension vidIQ, and then you'll have two options. The one you want to pick is called vidIQ Vision for YouTube. Okay, it's an extension. Add it to Chrome by clicking the button. You can see that I already have it. It says added to Chrome. Very good ratings, four and a half, five stars, something in between there, 4.53 stars, over a million, just under two million users of it, and it tells you all kinds of stuff. You can see a few screenshots right there, but I'm going to show you it um, on YouTube itself. So once you've downloaded that, you've signed in, you'll have it, you want to make sure it's enabled. And you'll know it's enabled once you start looking at some stuff on YouTube. So you'll see like right here, there's a few things right there. Competitors, trend alerts. You can see some trends here. You can see competitors. Now obviously they have a paid version that you can get as well. I am just using the free version. That's the part I'm showing you. And it will tell you it will tell you all kinds of stuff so for instance you can go to let's say I want to go to a random channel I can go to the let's say I go to the TED talks channel you'll see kind of what's trending here you'll see uh, roughly what their monthly revenue might be now that is if they are making pretty much the average which is like a dollar fifty or so per thousand views from ads that also does not include any products they sell, affiliate links, or anything like that. So that's just a rough estimate of what they could be making from ads. So you can see that for your own channel and for competitors' channels. You can see total views, which is all-time views. That means since the beginning of their entire channel, that's about how many views they have. It may or may not be exact but it's going to be very close I've compared numbers it's very close um, average daily views as of right now tells you that like TED talks gets 699.2 thousand daily views it'll tell you your average daily subscribers how many subscribers do you get per day on average how many views do you have in the last 30 days um, roughly it'll tell you it rounds up usually to the nearest million or the nearest hundred thousandth. Um, so it's not going to have the exact number, but you'll if you check between that number and your YouTube analytics, you'll see it's very accurate. And it'll also give you a little thing right there. If it's green, that means it's gone up in the last 30 days compared to the previous 30 days. If it's red, that means it's gone down in the last 30 days compared to the previous 30 days and it'll tell you what percentage you've grown your channel and what the growth rate percentage increase or decrease is also you have subscribers the last 30 days how many you've gotten compared to the 30 days before that so 
um, you can see just right there that alone would make it worth w using. I mean, it has so many different things that you can do. But another thing you can do is search different things. So let's say I searched iPhone review. Okay. You can search this. It also tells you a lot about search results and things like that. So if you were to look at, you know, these different videos, you could look and see, okay, here are some of the numbers for like the highest amount of views from the the biggest uh, most viewed video on this list about six million plus average views for this search term 1.9 million you can see you know average age of these videos you can see the search volume and the competition the competition is pretty high obviously the closer it gets to red the search volume you want it to be more in the green high search volume which means lots of view potential you can see other top search results which is just like if you typed in iPhone 7 review that being a hundred means it's a pretty popular term you could do a video about an iPhone 7 review um, specifically for that term it also tells you what is rising right now which is um, increasing so obviously the newer phones if you're looking for phone reviews are going to have a big increase plus 2300 percent for the Samsung Galaxy S8 review uh, plus 1500 percent for the iPhone 7 plus so things like that the iPhone 8 I'm sure that will increase more it's up 250 percent already and it tells you all that stuff. It tells you subscribers that they have right next to it. See, it says powered by vidIQ. So all those types of things. You can, you can also click on a specific video, maybe learn some more about it as well. And um, you can see some of the things here. You can advanced embed it. You can, you know, Obviously, the uh, regular stuff for YouTube is still going to be on there. It's not going to cover that up. And it'll also tell you your like to dislike ratio with the blue and red at the bottom. You can see there how this one has probably quite a few dislikes. As you can see from the little bar down there, and it says configure in vidIQ settings. So you have this little bar here. Before you even watch the video, it tells you your like to dislike ratio. So you can see it's a really cool tool. Um, you can use it for a lot of different things. And also, when you upload a video, it tells you a lot of things as well. I'll go to a video I've already uploaded just to show you some examples. Um, video manager. You can also check many of these things as well. Um, like I said, as far as the like revenue and stuff like that, don't get too alarmed if it's lower than you thought it would be. Um, some channels make a lot more than a dollar fifty per thousand views. That's based on what they go off of is like the average of a dollar fifty per thousand views. Now, if your channel is entertainment based, you probably get about that. If you're more business based, if you do more tutorials and reviews, it's probably a lot higher. So you probably will make more than it tells you you probably make. It's just an estimate. So you're looking here. If you click edit on a video or if you upload a new video, it also gives you um, things as far as tags, how popular the tags are, where you're ranking for different tags. Now I have two tools that both offer um, the ranking for certain tags here you can see the number next to these tags that I'm ranking for um, it's green on here because the other tool um, I have that's does some things as well for YouTube also offers that so it's kind of overrided it but it will tell you when you upload a new video I don't have a new video to upload right now but it'll also tell you what you should do it'll tell you as far as like what kind of um, what kind of SEO practices you should take and all that kind of stuff so even when you upload a new video it helps you maximize the video itself 
Now the other tool I want to show you besides vidIQ is TubeBuddy. Now TubeBuddy is somewhat similar. They do offer some of the th same things, but they are still different, and I'll show you how. Um, when you go to TubeBuddy.com, that's where you can sign up. You need to sign up before you get the extension, and um, you can see that I've already ex installed it, and it has a notification on that screen. But once you've signed up for TubeBuddy, you know, very similar. It's, it's completely free. You go to the Chrome store, and you look, or you just go to Google and type in TubeBuddy Chrome extension or Firefox extension, whatever browser you're using, and then download it. You can see I've already added it to Chrome. It's called TubeBuddy for YouTube. All right. It's not quite as popular as vidIQ, but they're both very effective. You can see up here, I have a TubeBuddy um, dashboard that is added to YouTube. It has all kinds of stuff that you can look at. Competitor scorecards, you can look at tags, you can look at messages, you can look at A-B tests. Now they do have different plans, of course, as well. If you look at pricing, um, you can upgrade to Pro, Star, or Legend. They have different things that they offer, of course. Um, I'm just showing you the free version right now. I'm not going over the paid versions, but you can also look at those as well. Of course, vidIQ has their own paid versions too. And um, you can look those up on vidIQ.com. But they're fairly similarly priced. If you want to, you know, just use one, you can do that. If you want to use both, you can do that. I like certain things. Uh, vidIQ tells you more about the channels themselves. I like their um, SEO best practices and things like that that they tell you. And I like their keyword search. So when you search stuff and it tells you the popularity of keywords, vidIQ does that, whereas TubeBuddy doesn't do as much of that. But what TubeBuddy does do that vidIQ doesn't is really more on a per video basis. Now they have all the stuff on here that you can set up like alerts, your statistics and things like that. But as far as um, your actual videos, I think that's where the value of TubeBuddy really comes in. And here is a Google error, which I will get out of. But once you go to your uh, video manager, Okay, there we go. Um, once you go to your video manager and you go here, you can see you can copy your cards and paste them. You can apply a template to your cards. So your cards, of course, when you edit a video, you can add other videos in there. You can copy and paste different templates and end screens. You can syndicate it. You can publish your video to Facebook directly from, from this link here. Um, you can do captions. They have a caption service. You can look at search rankings. They do tell you your rankings for different tags on your videos, like I kind of showed you earlier. They track your amount of shares. You can look at thumbnail generators, uh, GIF generators, all kinds of stuff. So let me go back to editing a video. They also have a calendar as well where you can see where your scheduled uploads are. You can create a thumbnail really well with um, TubeBuddy. Uh, by the way, these green numbers on the tags, that is TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy also tells you the uh, character limits on your title and your description, so you know how many to do. Um, and it tells you right there where this video ranks in YouTube search for the tags. They have different tag tools that explore you have translate suggest import they have so many different options so I really recommend that you use both of these just because they both offer different things but you can use a still frame from the video you can use a solid color or import an image if 
you wanted to like take a frame, click continue, then you can add text, you can add an image, you can add shapes, you can have a template for a specific type of thumbnail. So when you see people, you know, have all these different cool thumbnails and stuff like that, um, that's typically what they're using is something like this. And you'll notice that every once in a while a YouTuber will mention TubeBuddy, but a lot of them probably just keep it to themselves that they use this. Um, so, you know, you can add text, you can change the brightness, you can drag this stuff all over the place and make really cool th custom thumbnails without ever leaving YouTube. So you have that, you have defaults, you have templates, you have these things over here that talk about, okay, I want to go edit this real quick without having to go back to my manager and all that. So you have these quick links to your other videos here. Like I said, your menu is up here with all your statistics, all your tools, your launch pad, um, your competitor scorecards and all kinds of stuff, but you need to sign in for that. Um, tags, all that type of stuff is covered and you can basically do all your thumbnails, all your tags, all your SEO, all of your cards, end screen stuff, your... Um, you know, your statistics as far as how your channel is looking from this period to the next period. You can see a, um, once you go back to video manager, they have a calendar that tells you when your videos are scheduled to publish in this little calendar here. So you don't have to do it the hard way. You can do a lot of things in bulk with TubeBuddy, copy, update, delete cards, end screens, publish to Facebook. Facebook is something you want to use your videos on as well, but you need to upload them and they help you do that. So all in all, if you can just try these two tools, you might like one better than the other and not need the other. Um, you might use both. You might upgrade. You might keep the free versions, but these are the tool. The are, these are the tools that I use to grow my channel. I've gotten millions of views, over 100,000 subscribers. It's helped me. I've mostly used just the free versions, so you don't have to necessarily pay a lot of money to get the best tools for YouTube. So if you got something from this video, if you feel like you learned something helpful, please like and subscribe so I can create more videos like this for you. Also, if you want to let me know what you thought about the video, let me know in the comments or let me know about some other tools maybe you've used or what experiences you've had with these anything you think people watching this video might need to know that i didn't mention please let us know in the comments or uh, even if you want to just suggest a future topic whatever let us know in the comments and um, i'll get the show notes links and all that stuff for you on the show notes page at selfmadesuccess.com in the coming days and i'll get a link in the description to that page as well but like i said you need to start out um, by going and signing in to vidiq.com, creating your free account, and tubebuddy.com, creating your free account. It's very easy, and it's free. So other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a great day.